Well, as you know, all week long, we are highlighting what we love about Minnesota. And while many of you may think that the state of hockey would be my top choice, instead, we are trading skates and taking you outside to celebrate all things winter. From the sunshine to the steady stream of snow, even on some of our shortest days, smiles shine through. To me, winter is like a playground. Yeah, I'm a winter person. <laughs> And when you're all buckled in, there is no better place to be than this. It's like blissful. It's peaceful. It's like um, you get back over there uh, on the other side of the uh, trail and you're like, I'm not in a city. I'm in northern Minnesota. I'm in Colorado. I'm I'm traveling. <laughs> it may be the coolest celebration on earth, but sometimes your heart doesn't know the difference. It's changed my life, clearly. Thanks to the Winter Carnival, Brent and Kelly Reichdahl's romance sparked in 2009. Yeah. Kelly was the South Wind Princess. Brent was new to St. Paul's deep-rooted celebration, but even in the bitter cold, sparks flew. It's the first time we said I love you is on the back of a fire truck, yeah. and so I get really nostalgic when we are riding the back of a fire truck with friends or family, and because I'm like, this is the first time, and we mouthed it to each other. Kelly was at yeah. the front, and I was near the back, and she just mouthed I loved you. So that's like yeah. my nostalgic moment is whenever we get on the back of a fire truck, and usually there's one or two involved with the Winter Carnival uh, just time period. The couple married in 2014 and now resides just across the river in Minneapolis. From a long-standing tradition in St. Paul to a frozen castle that has touched all parts of the metro. As the sun sets, <laughs> Winter's Palace comes alive in New Brighton with bright lights, frozen thrones, and slippery slides. <laughs> yes, let's do this winter thing again. So other than gopher hockey games and Minnesota Wild games <laughs> yeah. and high school hockey games, there really is just so much to do across the state. And it has been so fun to move back here and live here for the last five and a half years after living in warm places like Texas and Virginia and really experience winter mm -hmm. in a whole new way, mm -hmm. away from hockey rinks. What about you guys? What do you enjoy most about the winter? Well, I'll tell you, it's going to be even more enjoyable when you have your baby because there's nothing like those first winters, and you can talk about yep. this, where you've got those little munchkins Yep. All dressed up in the snowsuit. And they're right. waddly. Right. And then uh, the thing is, it's challenging them trying to keep their mittens on. That's a fun thing. And when they just want to plop down in the snow and then they start crying because it's cold, they can't figure it out. But then they don't want to go inside. This sounds like it. This sounds like the bad part. I know. They're I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right. Let's, let's oh, go, so, no, let's go to the viewers. Let's go to the viewers. <laughs> All right.